What's going on you guys? This is Austin Holloman and I am sitting outside the gym. I'm very energized right now and I want to bring you guys this video to tell you really quick about why I think American men should date Brazilian women. Now, I'm doing this right now. I mean, you might hear some background noise, but I had to get this out the way while it's fresh in my mind so I can give you the most uh, genuine and real energy that I can right now. Now, number one, they have bodies that you are not used to. If you are coming from the United States, you're not gonna ever convince me that you are used to being around women that are built like supermodels every day, all day, and you can't get away from them. That's just not true. If you look at the statistics, the most, the majority of the women in the United States are overweight and fat and obese. Now that's not all of them. I knew a few of them that were in shape, but guess what? They know that they're one of the few that's in shape, so they act like it, and they are very hard to deal with. They might as well not even exist. But you come to Brazil, there's beautiful, fit women everywhere. They're nice, and they'll be compatible with you, and they don't mind talking to you. They're not, they don't have their, they can't have their head up their ass because there's too many of them. You just go to the next one. Now, number two, they don't need makeup to be beautiful. The number of women in Brazil that walk around with no makeup and are still killing the game is unreal. And the ones that do wear makeup, whenever they take it off, they don't look like a completely different person. Now, there are women in Brazil that do pile makeup on their face, but those are very far and few. There's not a lot of women like that walk around Brazil that have, that look like they have a uh, like somebody threw a cake on their face. No. The majority of women in Brazil look good because they eat better food here. They live a better lifestyle. They get more sunlight. They're just all around better. It, they have a better... Uh, condition of health compared to women in the states women in the states are consuming that processed food bad water all it's not that good in the states and you can't convince me so being an american man you need to refuge at the united states and date somewhere else and i'm recommending brazil because that's my country of choice but that's not the only country number three they show appreciation whenever you take them out on a date they will say thank you whenever you do something nice for you for them they'll say thank you they'll thank you for being masculine they'll thank you for being a man They'll thank you for getting things done. Versus in the States, if, you, if you're if you masculine and you do what a man should do, all they're going to do is try to bring you down and, oh, that's what you're supposed to do anyway. And they're not going to appreciate you. They don't care about you, but they care about you down here. And I'm telling you straight from the source, the majority. Look, these are all generalizations. I want to keep that 100 with you, okay? Not every single woman in Brazil is like what I'm describing, but about 90%. 90% of them are true to what my videos are. Coming from the States, 10% of the women are like the women in Brazil. Fit, appreciative, etc., etc. So if you feel like you're not getting enough appreciation from Brazil, uh, from American women, come to Brazil and I can promise you, you'll have a change in reality. Number four, they don't give side hugs after dates. This goes with appreciation. I'm not saying a woman has to have sex with you for her to appreciate you after a date, but at least in Brazil, even if she's not into you like that, more than likely if she's not into you, she won't be going on a fucking date with you. But she'll give you a regular hug and more than likely she's gonna give you a tongue kiss and everything. Guys, I've had women that you know if you give some you know if you give some bad dick out, you're not getting a phone call back, right? So I did that in Brazil one time. <laughs> I gave some bad dick out one time. And she still gave me a hug and still tongue kissed me and still made it gave me this illusion that she was still into me. That's just how they are. They don't, they're not disrespectful to men. They show appreciation. You have a very few around there in my comments that are stupid, that are feminists, that are disrespectful, but they're, they're still not on the level of disrespectful as a woman from the States. So it's definitely a change of reality coming down here with no side hugs after a date. More than likely, they're going to go home with you after the date. Number five. They aren't afraid to make their emotions vulnerable to you. So women in the United States have this bullshit lie that they say, oh, I've been hurt. I've been hurt. So that's why I'm getting more masculine and masculine every man I meet. Or, you know, I used to uh, show a man that I would love him and care for him, but uh, one man cheated on me. So now I'm going to be a bitch to every other man. No. In Brazil, I've known women that have been married two, three times, and they are still as feminine, still do... They, they still give the next man what they would give the first man. The difference is, in the States, women will let a dude fuck them over for 80 years. In, a, in Brazil, you're not going to fuck a woman over for more than about two or three months before she catches on and says, okay, I'm going to the next one. That's the difference. They realize that they're not going to waste time giving all they got to the wrong man. Versus in the States, they will, they will continuously give shit to the wrong man and then say they ain't going to do it for nobody else. That's why they're going to die alone, because they're fucking stupid. Now, 
uh, number six, they don't ask for superficial lifestyles. Now, it's, it might be starting to come about more, but the majority of women in Brazil realize that every fucking man on the planet can't afford to have a damn yacht and a jet, okay? In the United States, I mean, you can't deny what I'm saying. The United States, what's that song that's like, I'm going to show you how to get an eight-figure nigga, whatever that bullshit is, okay? Those women that are making music like that, they're not the only ones thinking like that. That music is actually touching women's heads from ages 18 and up. And women 18 years old think they deserve to be in a fucking private jet. And the pH is off and they don't know how to cook and they don't even know how to hold a goddamn conversation. But they want you to have $10 million in the bank in order to fucking talk to them in order and be able to afford them a Louis Vuitton bag. No. In Brazil, that's not the same thing, Okay. If you go look at my interviews, the majority of women say, all I want is a man that can pay the bills. They just want you to provide. Now, you, majority of women in, in Brazil, if they're not modern, and modern is different here, the majority of women in Brazil, if they want you to provide, yes, they're, they're going to want you to provide 100% of the bills, but the difference is you're providing 100% and you're getting something out of it. Provide 100% of, uh, of the bills in the States, and you're still going to get bitched at about sweeping the floor. It happened to me. Okay, I provide 100% of the bills, and the bed wasn't even getting made. And that's not, oh, that's one person you rent. No, that's a lot of motherfuckers. I didn't do it for a lot of motherfuckers, but I would test people to see, like, oh, you know, she spent the night here, make my bed back for me. You don't want to make the fucking bed back, you lazy motherfucker. Okay, so you are scratched off the list, too. Guys, I scratched off you motherfuckers in the United States off the list. I came to Brazil. I haven't looked back since. I haven't looked back since, and I'm not going back to the United States unless it's to visit family and close friends, and that'll be a while before that happens. I believe this is number seven. They are feminine. Femininity is a lost trait in the United States. Watch all my videos. Go look at Kevin Sam. Look at Kevin Samuel's videos. Look at everybody's videos on YouTube. Look at how masculine these women are. These women down here still speak with a soft voice. Still hold your hand still cower to other men they don't challenge other men they don't try to fight other men okay they don't want to be fucking men they're when they say down here in brazil they might say to oh you know i don't i don't want to need a man for anything they're strictly talking about finances okay they're strictly saying they want to be financially independent because they know that hey a man could just up and leave you one day which is true but in the United States, they say they don't need a man for anything. So guess what, baby? Whenever somebody bring it to your house, don't call your homeboy. Don't call your boyfriend. Don't call your male cousin. Don't call anybody that has a penis. Call a woman that has a vagina. And I'm not talking about a trans woman. Only call a woman that's been a, a female since birth. Since she don't need a man for anything. Because if you call the police, a man is going to show up. You know what? Don't even buy a gun because a man made that. Men made every fucking thing. But since you don't need a man, you fight him with your own goddamn hands, you ignorant motherfucker. They do a better, I believe it's number eight, they do a better job at accountability. In the United States, women are not accountable for shit. In Brazil, I've heard uh, a friend say that, you know, that they, you know, they're not accountable sometimes. It's on light mode, okay? But I, I have maybe one or two women I've ran into, and I've dealt with a lot of women in Brazil. I have one or two women I've ran into that didn't want to show accountability. That is not common down here for women to be like, oh, it's your fault, it's not mine. In, in the United States, women, U.S. people in general think everything is somebody else's fault. In the United States, that's like a problem. Like, you can't get a job, somehow it's the government's fault. Meanwhile, we got Mexicans swimming and digging tunnels to get to the United States stealing your fucking job that you could have. But in in Brazil, that I'm getting a little off topic, but in Brazil, the women do take accountability. They, are, they know that in this world, you are responsible for your own actions. And last, I believe this is number nine. Let me know if I miss anything, but lastly, your currency is a lot stronger in Brazil anyway. So if you're gonna more than likely get put in the top 1%. I read an article a while back, I think it said 70 grand puts you in the top 3%. 70,000 US dollars puts you in the top 3% in Brazil. Okay, I was making way more than that. I'm still making more than that now. So that means I'm very well in the top 1%. So even anywhere in the world, if you're in the top 1% as far as income goes, you're gonna get a different result with women anyway. But don't don't that doesn't mean that if you're making if you're in the top uh, 20% in Brazil that you won't get a good result. There's women out here that date dudes that have regular jobs that can literally get swept up by an NFL player in the United States. And it, it, with the quickness. If an NFL player saw her, she would get snatched up. So, 
those are my nine reasons so far why I think you should date. And if you're in America, you should date in Brazil rather than the United States. If you date in the United States is complete bullshit. While I'm speaking, it was a badass white Brazilian chick. Super, she, she's fine. And she's laughing because I'm in here talking to the camera. But they're everywhere down here, guys. They're everywhere. So get your passport, come to Brazil, go to Peru, go anywhere outside the United States. But I'm recommending Brazil because that's my country of choice. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and get your passports and come here because it's really that bad. Thank you for watching till the end of the video. Please do me a huge favor and go to my Facebook page. The link is in the description to all the socials I'm about to name. My Facebook page is the Austin Holloman. My Instagram is Austin Holloman. Be sure to follow me on Twitter if you want a good laugh every day at A Groomsman. And I'm also on TikTok as Austin Holloman. I'd appreciate it if you follow me on all those accounts that help me keep my content going, keep the message flowing. That way more men can get out of the matrix and come overseas because it's really that bad out here.